How did you do? Did you get your footage to get, look from shaky to more stable? This is the best that I can do. And let me walk through the effects that I changed or the settings that I changed. So I added the warp stabilizer effect, obviously, and I first checked out what it looked like with the the standard settings that it uses. Smooth motion, 50% smoothness, subspace warp, and to be honest, it cropped way too far in and it still looked like jelly and I didn't like it at all. So I tried different things like change from subspace warp to position, scale rotation, I decreased the smoothness to 5% and it, it got better but it didn't get amazing. So I went down into this advanced tab, something we haven't really dived into. And I did a detailed analysis just by clicking this check mark. Honestly, I don't really know what it's doing. It's just taking a little bit more time and trying to do harder work to make it more smooth. So honestly, I don't know why you wouldn't check that for all of your stabilizations unless it just works best or automatically without checking that. So I checked that. And then I also changed the rolling shutter ripple from automatic reduction to enhanced reduction. Rolling shutter is this weird motion you get when you are panning with a DSLR or even a mirrorless camera. It makes things look a little bit warped and the faster you pan, the worse it looks. So I think that helped a little bit. And then lastly, I think the thing that really helped was this crop less versus smooth more option. It's standard at 50%, meaning that it's balancing cropping versus smoothness. If you go more smoothness, then it's going to crop even more. If you crop less, it's going to make it less smooth. So I tried more smoothness at 75% and it worked a little bit better, but I think the sweet spot was actually cropping less because I didn't want it to be zoomed in so far. So I changed this to 15% and that is how I got this motion to look like this where you get a tiny bit of that little jelly look right there, but it's so subtle and if you go here, it it focuses on the flower and then you cut away to another shot. No one's really going to notice that on a video that um, is online like that. Maybe you'll notice it more if you're watching it on the big screen. And now that I'm telling it to you, you probably notice it. But I think this was the best that I could get it. If you, if you had some other settings that you used and it came out better yourself, please let me know what settings you had and post your video to the course page. I would love to check it out. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in another lesson.